Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today's video is a special one with a special Loli Veffy unboxing, which means everything in this box is going to be on sale on the website. So we've got some great fun stuff in here. So I'm going to open it up, which I've already opened it up. And I'm going to show you what fun goodies come inside. So let's start off with, and this is going to be obviously an ocean themed type of video. So I'm going to start off by showing you this really pretty MDF round. Now you get two of these. There's only one in the box because I'm already working on the other one. So you will get two of these MDF rounds. I believe they are just shy of a 16 inch. I think it's 15 and a bit. Actually, let's see. I shall tell you right now with my very trusty, yeah, it's 15 and a half. So 15 and a half inch MDF round, okay? And typically you would use this side, but I'm going to be using the inside. Just like you saw me do with the black ocean piece, I'm doing a white one. So you get two of these boards in the box, all right? And then in the box, you also get a round silicone mat. And I'm gonna put a picture of all the products up momentarily. But this is a very big round silicone mat. So that comes in the box. You get this silicone measuring cup. Uh, 500 mils or two cups. So you get this silicone measuring cup, perfect for mixing resin. And then when it's dry, you just peel it out and you can reuse it. So I really like that. Uh, you get a scraper. You will get a silicone stir stick. So this is also great. Uh, resin will peel off of this stick super easily. And then you have an option on the website, you'll have the option of getting blue boats or brown boats. So these, you get five of these cute little, look, I've got paint on my hands. Can you tell I was painting earlier? So you get five of these little blue boats or you can choose to get uh, five brown boats. So you get the option, all right? So you get one of those, one of these, and then you get these super cute, if I can get them out of the bag here, there we go, ocean creature stickers. So you've got different sizes of uh, sea turtles, some whales over here, and then over here you've got sharks and hammerhead sharks, so different kinds of sharks. There you go. So you get two sheets of that in with your box, all right? There we go. And uh, so that's it. You'll get two pieces here. Here, I'm working on it. It's in the video. I'm working on it today. Um, so two MDF rounds, the silicone mat, silicone stir stick, scraper, choice between blue or brown boats, your silicone measuring cup, and your stickers. All right. And that is uh, going to be on sale so check out the Loli Vefi website and get them while you can because there is a limited quantity. The whole kit here totals about $110. It'll be 30% off. So the whole kit is now on sale for $75 and you can still save an extra 10% off using code Canela 10. So $75 sale for all of this stuff and an extra 10% off using my discount code of Canela 10. And I'll put a picture of all the materials right here so you guys can see what everything looks like and the silicone mat opened up. So that is what is in the kit. So as I mentioned, limited quantities. So don't delay. You guys all know what happens when I mention a sale or products. They sell super duper quick, all right? And if you saw my last video where I showed you guys the mermaid mold and the mermaid piece that I did and the garden gnome and the butterfly, if you're going to end up buying this kit, you might as well throw in those silicone molds while you're at it. 
and then don't have to pay extra shipping. You can just buy all of it and put it all in one shipping cart and that's it. So head on over. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away uh, and don't forget uh, if you are interested in coming to visit me in Dallas, Texas this November for the Fluid Art Experience, uh, you can check out all the information on the website. Information is in the description below or go to fluidartexperience.com for all the information. If you want to come and see me and learn from me live in person in Dallas, Texas, uh, or come to North Carolina this February and come and see myself and Tammy Anderson for our Fluid Art Creative Escape Workshop, all right? So I'm gonna be in two places soon, Texas in November and uh, North Carolina in February. So come see me at either or, all right? Information in the description below. All right, I'm gonna get myself set up and we're gonna get started on today's piece. All right, everybody, so let's get started here. So as you can see, I already have my round primed and ready to go. So what I did was I took my acrylic Liquitex gesso here. I uh, just bought it at the local art store here in London. And so I used gesso to um, put two coats of gesso on my MDF panel. And then when those two were dry, I actually then used my Titanium White by Amsterdam and I put two coats of Titanium White on here. All right, now before I forget, for more detailed information, you can always go and check out my video number 472. That is the video that I did this, but with a black base instead of white. So there's um, some more detailed information in that video if you want to check that one out. I also show you guys how I painted this. Don't forget, you need to take a little sander and sand the edges. Again, all that is in detail in video 472. So go and check that one out. All right. And all right. So that is done and ready to go. I have taped my sides on this one and the back. Um, I thought I'd leave the sides the natural wood color on this one. Um, okay, so um, I'm, I'm a little discombobulated today. As you can see, if you've noticed, my nails are a different color, which means from when I recorded my intro to when I'm recording this, it's, it's been a little bit of a while. Um, I've had some things happen to me this week. Someone broke into my car in my own driveway in the middle of the night and stole everything I had in my car. So... I've been pretty messed up this week, um, been pretty stressed out, and uh, a police report has been filed, and no, they have not caught the guy. I have him on camera because we have cameras, and you could see him, you know, rummaging through my car, and it just makes me sick to my stomach that this creep was in my car, and he took everything I had right down to my prescription eyeglasses that I use and need to drive with. He took my glasses, he took my, he took my grocery bags. He took everything. He, he left nothing except for my owner's manual for the car. Um, so yeah, um, I've been playing detective with the neighbors and getting everybody's video surveillance cameras. Um, you know, I threw it out in Facebook world to all the local London Facebook groups to see if anyone recognizes the creep. Um, unfortunately, no luck. But um, but yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty disturbed. But anywho, I just, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Heather. Um, Heather, you obviously uh, saw me post that on social media and she actually donated. <laughs> You're so sweet. She's, thank you for the PayPal donation. It's gonna help to use the money to buy and replenish all the stuff that that jerk stole from me so thank you very much Heather anywho um so yeah if I'm a little off it's because I'm still shaken up about this what happened uh anywho so um ugh. in video 472 I actually used um stones in this video I'm actually going to use sand today I'm going to try something different I have two kinds of sand um they are both from Michael's this one is uh, fine stone granules, 
And this one is coarse stone granules. I don't think I have enough to do just this. So I might have to mix some of this into my resin. So I'm gonna do the sand as I have sand all over my board now. I'm gonna use the sand along the bottom and then I'm going to use a light Caribbean blue. So this is kind of like the color I'm gonna be using and um, it is called Caribbean Sea. Now this is from Artie Sue, it's a paste, um, but unfortunately you can't get these anymore. Um, but yeah, let me, where's my stir stick here? I gotta give it a good stir. But um, you can use any blue, you can use a pigment, a paste, um, you know, but let me just, it needs a good stir. It hasn't been stirred. Shaken, not stirred, boned. But look how pretty this is. So I'm going to be using this as my Caribbean color because my other video was like dark, stormy, sea color blue. And then this one I'm going for a really light Caribbean color. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. All right. I'm going to be using my Shallow Casting Resin by Crystal Resin. Uh, don't forget, you can save 7% off all your resin needs on the Crystal Resin website using code CANELA7. Now, if you go onto the website to get the Shallow Casting Resin, you will not find it there as they are currently sold out. They do have a major shipment coming soon. Hopefully, it's here within the next couple of weeks. But if you're in a rush and you want to try this project, you could always buy the deep casting resin. It works just as well, if not better. Um, but you can definitely use casting the deep casting resin or you can just use the regular tabletop resin. You don't have to use casting resin. I prefer the casting resin because it has less air bubbles than the regular tabletop resin. So I'm going to be doing that. I've got my sand. I'm going to put my sand here. I've got my light blue here. I've got my little cup here that's already got a little bit of the white paste. Again, from Crystal Resin. Again, check out video 472 to see all the products. Um, and I've got that ready to go. So I'm going to um, mix up some of my resin into my cups. I don't need to do that on camera. So I'm going to put you guys on pause. And I'll be right back once I have my resin mixed up. All right, so I've got my resin mixed up here. I've been stirring it for about three to four minutes. I've added some into my little cup here to get my white paste ready for the wave, foamy waves portion. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this in this cup here, and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough for my sandy base. I need another, let's get another stick here. All right, so I'm going to pour, I, I'm gonna, I don't know which one I should use. Should I use the fine one? I'll use both, whatever, I'll figure it out as I go. So you need a lot of sand because you have to make it really, really thick so that it doesn't like, when you put it on your piece, you don't want it spilling into anything. So it's gotta be super thick, like really chunky. So you gotta add a lot of sand. Like right now, here, I'll show you in a sec. This isn't good enough, okay? You really need to add like a lot of sand. So in fact, this would be enough if I wanted to do just this but I think I do want to add some of the chunky, thicker, coarse sand in this. So yeah, see now it's thickening up. So now you can see it's more goopy. Again, scraping my edges really well, getting all that resin incorporated with the sand. Now I wonder what would happen I just, I'm afraid to put it in in case I don't like it. You know what I'm gonna do? Just in case, just in case, I'm playing here. I'm gonna take some of this and put it in here. And then I'll add it here and then we'll see what happens. And if I don't like it, then I haven't wasted much of anything. All right, good thing I have all my supplies behind me. So let me add a little of this coarse 
sand <laughs> and mix this up and see what it, yeah, see, I think I'm kind of liking this. I'll show you guys one sec. Let me just mix it up really well. See, it looks more like sand. Can you see that? This just looks like cream baby food <laughs> or something. So I think this looks more like sand to me. So that was a good idea. I'm going to add this back in here so we don't waste any. Okay, put that aside. And let me add some coarse sand. Now I'm gonna add a little at a time because I don't wanna overdo it. And then you can always add more as you go, but you can't take it out if you put too much. Okay, let's mix that up. Looking better. Oh yeah, I'm definitely liking this a lot better. So I think a little more and we should be good to go. You see the difference now? It really, it looks a lot more like sand, but it needs more. <sighs> so anywho, I've been having a hard time sleeping ever since this incident happened. You know, all I keep thinking about in my mind is, you know, what if this, or how come my dogs, <laughs> I'm like, what kind of guard dogs do I have? Echo and Juno heard nothing. They did not hear him. They were fast asleep. Echo's usually really good at barking at the slightest sound that he hears. So obviously he didn't hear anything. The guy was super quiet when opening and closing my doors. Anywho, so think that looks really good. I think... And it's nice and thick, so it's not going to go anywhere. Maybe I'll add just a little more. Anywho, I feel extremely violated. Like, really violated that someone went through my belongings and took my stuff. You know. It's just not what I wanted. No one wants that, obviously. I have contacted a lot of my neighbors. They've also sent me footage of him, other neighbors found him trying to get into their cars as well. So it wasn't just my car. Um, he tried to get into their cars with no success, but he got into mine. Anywho, all right, so there we go. Now I'm going to strategically somehow <laughs> put this down here as my sandy beach and just kind of spread it out with my popsicle stick. <laughs> it looks like baby oatmeal as I'm dripping all over my table. All right, I'm not sure how this is gonna pan out. I may have preferred and should have maybe stuck with my stones but I wanted to try something different. I don't know. My brain isn't really functioning 100%. But you know what they say, right? The show must go on. I must continue to do videos. So, all right. I don't know how far I want to take this. Maybe a little bit more over here. I'm going to keep some extra just in case I need to touch up any sections or anything like that. I think I went too thick on this side. Oh no, don't drop on there. Okay. Um, all right, clean that up before. Maybe a little more, but a smaller over here. Like so, so that it goes, look at me, I'm a mess. <sighs> okay. Let's kind of bring it down a bit. I think that's okay. Whether it is or it isn't, it is what it is. So I'm just going to, okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, 
I'm going to put some clear aside in case I need it for something, just in case. Always have a little extra as a just in case. And then, so I showed you guys the stick. I'm not even gonna put any pigment on it. I'm gonna just use what's on the stick. And let's see what color this turns out to be. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. All right. Okay. So as you can see, it's taking the color off my stick. So you don't need much. This is just proof that you do not need a lot to get the color that you're going for. I'm gonna put that over there for now and use my big stick to stir this properly, making sure I'm scraping the edges, getting all the color incorporated and mixed really well with my resin here. See, I don't want it to be too dark, so you gotta be careful with how much you put in here, because like I said, you can put in a little bit at a time until you get the color that you want, but if you put too much, you can't really take it out. So just be careful with that. I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll find out. So now I guess I'll just pour some of this. On here. All right. Remember, I'm learning as I go. All right. I'm going to bring it down so that it touches the sand. Well, it's already touching the sand, so let's uh, just use this and get it to touch the sand, and then we'll go from there. I think I need to tilt it just a bit. There we go, all right. We've got contact with the sand over here. Okay, let me just bring this down. over here okay so we've got the blue touching the sand okay I'm going to use my torch to pop any air bubbles that might be in here right now okay and I think I actually might go get my stones and put like a few stones along the edge. Actually, you know what? Let me get my stones. All right, so I've got my stones and I wonder what would happen if I just added some stones either along the shoreline or just all just scattered in in the sand I have some some starfish that I got when I was in St. Pete's I forgot should I add him into I'm gonna add it last I even have some sand dollars Okay, so let me, I forgot about that. That's gonna look super cute. All right, so let me do my waves first because I gotta see where that white's gonna end up. Uh, and I might have to take some of these stones out. Oh, I like that so much better. I love these little peach colored stones too. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, all right, so I've got my little small heat gun here because I like how it's got the small nozzle again check out video 472 you can find this in my Amazon shop now if you saw 472 you saw that I put way too much white so I gotta put 
very, very little white, okay? And so this is gonna be a little challenging, a little challenging. Not working out the way I want. I don't wanna to put too much. Um, I wonder if I can get a less of a streak by using the tip of this instead. Have it drizzle off the edge. Oh, that's so much better than my last video. So not very many because I don't want the first layer to have um, a lot of the white um, waves because I am going to do another layer on top after this one is dry. So I'm going to add more waves further up in the next one. So this is perfect. Okay, so where shall I add that little cute starfish? So... I'm actually so glad I put these stones in because I really think it looks so much nicer. All right. Let me find a really small one. Oh, this guy's little teeny weeny. Look at that. It's so cute. And I'm going to put them. Which way are you supposed to put them? This way or this way? I think this way. <laughs> what do I know? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. All right. So that's it for this portion of, of this. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to add a few more stones in here and I'm going to let the rest of this dry. And then I'm going to come back. Uh, there's an air bubble. There we go. All right. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back for the next and final layer all right, everybody, it's been a couple of days and I'm on to the next step here. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've added a few of the stickers here from the kit that you get. So I've added some sea turtles and some sharks. And then I have the little blue boat, which I will add after I put my final coat of resin. And I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet but it'll be somewhere here along the shoreline or maybe here in the in the ocean, but maybe here along the shoreline. So I put that there so I don't forget. And then with my leftover resin and sand from the last step, I actually just filled up one of my uh, Let's Resin silicone molds and I have this cute little mold here. So when you have extra leftover resin, don't throw it away, put it in a mold and see what fun stuff happens, all right? So what I have here is some clear resin. I've got here another new batch of white for the foamy waves. Now you can see here, my waves pulled in, right? So I've lost the waves here on the edge. So when I do my next layer right now, I'm gonna add more down here and then maybe a little, a few little ones up here because I don't want to cover my sea turtles or sharks, all right? So I've already gone ahead and mixed up a batch of my casting resin here. And now I'm gonna use a different color. Um, this one is called Blue Diamond and it's by Just Resin. I'm pretty sure you guys can still get this from um, Just Resin. I'm, I'm not sure, this was given to me as a gift so I didn't actually buy it. Um, but, uh, it's super pretty, although you can't really see it. 
And um, I know they're on Instagram, but it's, uh, like I said, just resin. All right. And I'm only going to take, I'm not even going to like stick. I'm just going to do that. Like literally just touch it. And even that might be too much. I don't want a lot. I want this to be as transparent as possible. All right. So I think this is good. Nice, pretty blue color. So I'm only going to pour it in here and avoid um, the sand down here. And I'm probably going to try and avoid some of the white. Oh, it's so pretty. Although it looks clear, but it's not. But it's going to add a beautiful layer to this. All right, so I'm going to just kind of push this. I guess I could push it down to the sand. It is almost pretty clear, but I don't want it to go all the way. I don't want it touching the sand or the rocks. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure it's good here on the edge. And I'm going to add more white down here to the bottom because, like I said, my waves here kind of pulled away from the uh, edges and came into the center. Okay, I'm just going to pop the bubbles real quick. I don't want to burn Mr. Boat here. All right, pop all the air bubbles. Oh, my little sea creatures look so cute. All right, so let me get my thin stick here. And do another, got to move this. See, I can actually move it over like this and thin it out. All right, let's, I'm, I'm not going to do one here yet because I want to see what happens with this. Let's heat this up. And blow it out. Okay, I actually like that. It's kind of like a little foamy, crashy wave there. But I think I need to add a little more here on the side because I have a feeling this is going to pool back into the center. I can already see it. It's moving, right? So I think I'm going to add a little bit more over here, just a bit. All right. All right, so now I don't know if I should do another little foamy wave. Just one little down here. Like that. Let's see what that does. I like that. All right. So I think I'm going to leave it now because like, I mean, this is going to move. It's not going to stay put like this. It's kind of cool because I can see the first layer of the foam. So it's kind of making it like 3D. There we go. Now the question is, do I put the boat on this foamy or do I put it down here? Oh, I'm covering my starfish. My starfish. No, Mr. Starfish. Oh no, get off my starfish. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I think he's gonna get covered. Shoot. All right, so I think I'm gonna put it here against the shoreline like that. And hopefully that doesn't move too much. All right, 
So I'm going to leave it, and unfortunately it is what it is with my starfish. I'm not going to uh, be able to fix that. He's going to get covered a little bit. Maybe when it gets a little tacky, I'll try and move it, but I don't want to ruin this either. So that's it on this. I'm going to leave it as is, and I will be back to show you guys the final results. All right, guys, I'm back at it. This is dry, and I'm not happy with um, the way the waves dried. So you can see it expanded here and then it pulled in from the sides. And I realized what I was doing wrong. So the problem is I'm using um, the shallow casting resin and because it's so fluid like water, um, it just keeps moving and moving until it dries. So, and I, you know, I kept thinking to myself, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Because I've done beach scenes before and it's never happened. And then I realized it's because I was using casting resin and not the regular tabletop resin. So I'm going to do one final layer and I'm going to do one final try at this. So I've mixed up regular tabletop crystal resin. So just the regular stuff, not the casting resin, because this resin is a lot thicker and it's not as fluid as um casting resin so i've mixed here i also have my white i've mixed already as well so i'm gonna try this one more time and i'm not even gonna color this this is just gonna be my final clear let's call it a clear top coat All right, here we go. Last time, third time's charm. I guess I'm gonna have to load, kind of load this one up because I have to cover the mistakes, right? All right, it always looks so good when it's wet. It's when it dries is the problem. So I think I'm going to continue it across. I like this though, it's really got that 3D look, but I have a feeling it needs more, I don't know. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better than what it looked like before. Definitely a lot better than what it looked like before. And then, like I said, someone had said, just spritz it with alcohol and the cells will show up more. I don't know, but, oh, geez, it did. Look at that. Did you see that? Wow. Wow. That looks so much better. Whew, the stink of alcohol, ain't rubbing alcohol. Wow, okay. Well, that kind of looks better. Wow, the rubbing alcohol really did make it sell up. Okay, okay, so there you go. Now, now this is looking better. I just, I'm gonna cross my fingers, like all my fingers. And I'm going to hope that this dries better than the first two attempts. Um, but yeah, my starfish is completely gone. And quite frankly, I'm actually okay with that. I really am. Because it just didn't seem... The, the starfish was just as big as the boat. And that doesn't really make sense in real life. So, and I really like the 3D look. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Hopefully it'll be the last phase, last step. And then I'll show you guys a close-up. All right, everybody, it is dry, it is finished, and I'm so much happier with the way the waves dried on this. So obviously, 
using the regular tabletop resin was the way to go. So you could still use the casting resin for your first layer with your blues or whatever colors you're doing. But when it comes to the layer of doing your waves, I would prefer for my next time when I try this to use the regular tabletop resin. But look at it. I really, really like the way this ended up. And my boat is still here, almost sunk. It's like almost a sunken boat. And then my starfish is gone, which I'm actually kind of happy about because it just was not proportionate. It just, it didn't make sense. So, and I've peeled the tape off the side. So I really like the way how it's got the natural wood look on the side. But again, you know, if someone wanted to paint the side white, you could do that. But I actually just kind of like it. I think it looks really nice. Adds a little natural wood um, you know, look to it. So there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I tried to make this as quick as possible, but clearly that did not happen. As you can tell, I edited a lot of parts out of the video. Um, so there was a lot of editing done in this, but, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really like this one. Do, now tell me, do you like the dark abyss? The dark blue abyss one that I did with the black border? Or do you like this one or do you like both? Let me know in the comments below. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. Don't forget, head on over to the Lowly Vefi website to get your kit and get the sale. Remember when I tell you there's limited kits available, so don't delay because it will sell out. And then people are gonna say, oh darn, I missed out because I was too slow. So head on over to the website and save your 25% off, or no, it's 30% off, and then get an extra 10% off using code CANELA10. All right, and that is it. So don't forget, come and see me in Texas if you wanna come and take a live class with me in Texas um, this November, uh, fluidartexperience.com, or come and see me in February with Tammy Anderson at the Fluid Art Creative Escape that is happening in February in Charlotte, North Carolina. And a really quick thing to get you to let you guys know, we've had a lot of people asking us, when are we coming to the West Coast? When are you coming to the West Coast? Well, guess what, everybody? After North Carolina, Tammy Anderson and I will be doing the Fluid Art Creative Escape in California. That's right, guys. We are heading to California after North Carolina, and that'll probably be in and around May. So for those of you who have been asking, surprise, um, just wanted to let you guys know that we will be hitting the West Coast next. So there you have it, everybody. Um, that is it for me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the information you need to know is listed in the description below. And that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your continued support. I, I cannot tell you what it means to me. So... Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.